I've been editing with Final Cut Pro X for a year and a bit now, and I've gotten quite efficient with the different operations. And there are essentially no limitations to what I can edit. I'm not even kidding, I even made this. I cranked 90s, you can't destroy my house. Puff, puff. <sighs> Bruh. One of my greatest masterpieces if I do say so myself. Anyway, I was scrolling through YouTube and I stumbled upon an editing tip video where a person was editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. The more I looked at it, the easier it looked to operate. This got me to thinking, could my skills be transferable to Premiere Pro? Well, there was only one way to test out my hypothesis, so I downloaded Premiere Pro onto my laptop and tried to edit one of my YouTube videos. I thought it would really be that simple. I chucked my files onto the side, which was very convenient by the way for Premiere Pro, chucked my main file in and attempted to edit. And I realized that the commands were completely different. So I had to watch a two minute video on the different commands. Now that I finished watching the video, I continued to edit and I instantly ran into another problem. Since my microphone audio was separate to my camera audio, I had to get rid of the camera audio and add the microphone audio, which was much harder than I thought as I had to unlink the camera audio because for some reason Premiere Pro has a weird system for lowering the volume on clips. So then I could finally start trimming my clip. One thing I noticed through this trimming process is that I had to drag the cut clip together, which was a pain in the butt. Also while I was trimming, I also added b-roll footage on the second layer, which wasn't that hard to do. May I mention, that separate screen to select a certain segment on the clip was quite convenient. After adding b-roll footage, I wanted to split the b-roll clip to show two b-roll clips at the same time. This is when I discovered Premiere Pro's true colors of its devious processes to do the most simple tasks. I had to go through the entire process of searching up the crop effect, dragging that onto the clip, pressing motion on the effect controls, shifting it slightly to a position, cropping a certain part of the clip, and doing that entire process again for the second clip when this could have been done in 5 seconds of Final Cut. This also happened. Are you... are you... ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! I could have just used the dragging thing the entire time. I've been wasting my time using my reaching over and using my trackpad when I could have just used this thing. Which is quite useful, by the way. Another good thing about Premiere Pro is that you don't have to use a trackpad. In my videos, I'm well known for my moving objects, so I attempted to do so in this video, which wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Knowing Premiere, I was expecting a 10 minute process, but fortunately there's a keyframe button in the effect controls which allowed me to make a moving object. Granted, it's still much easier to do this in Final Cut. It was all smooth sailing until I had to deal with texts. This is when I really started getting a migraine. Because for some reason, once you put a certain text down, you can't copy it and change it. You have to make a completely new one. Since I was making a point system, I had to make multiple of these, and I was dying inside. After 30 minutes of hell, I finally got the point system done, and finished off with the end cut, which, may I mention, came out very dodgy. I mean, look at that, that's just horrifying. So I exported my file and, and uploaded it to YouTube. I have to give credit to Premiere for a fast, short, and easy export to my desktop and onto YouTube. Plot twist, the last video was edited on Premiere Pro. Anyway, I've come to the conclusion that both editing softwares have their pros and cons, but I think that Final Cut is still the superior editing software. And now, I can edit on two softwares. And that's a flex. I might make another video showing my editing process on Final Cut, but for now, I'll catch you in the next one. So, see ya.